I have something Dallas related. I just have okay. where are the Mavericks headed? So I watched their game on Wednesday night against Philly. And to be honest with you, I think it was the best they've looked since they traded for Kyrie and they <laughs> lost. And it was a really yeah. big bummer. Like they actually played well. I looked it up. They had 20 more passes in that game than they've had as a season average. The ball was moving really well. I thought their defense played pretty solid. I thought Kleba had a really good game. Uh, and then la- late in the game, Reggie Bullock and, and Josh Green just missed a bunch of open threes, like four or five between the two of them on plays where Embiid was just being an absolute monster, closing off the paint, and Luka and Kyrie were kicking out, generating wide open threes, and the role players just missed them. Um, and I like it, it, that makes it hard to to evaluate. Like Mavs fans hate that kid comes out after every game. They've lost so many close games this year, and he just says they they miss shots. And it's agonizing to hear as a fan, but like I guess it is true in, at times. And like their shooters just haven't been as good. They also traded one of them and Dorian Finney Smith away for Kyrie, as well as Dinwiddie. I guess they traded two of their shooters away for Kyrie, right? Um, but they might genuinely miss the play in. That's where this is right now. Luca has been, Se- uh, you know, public seven, about his 70, upsetness for the first time. Seventy percent chance in the uh, right about at the, per the basketball probabilities report that they are out of the plane. So they have a thirty percent chance of making it in. Yeah, that's rough, right? So yeah, I guess if we're in agreement that that is a genuine likelihood, a possibility, if not likelihood, we talked about Jason Kidd being a likely candidate to to get fired um, because it does not feel like he is is connecting. It, it does not feel like he has been able to make the most of what this team is, even if we all understand their roster has some limitations. You, the Kyrie re-signing, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they get him back and then you're in, you're in real dire straits. I, and also just like there's parts of this Luca year that I just I understand like he's maybe dealing with some stuff and and that's part of this. Um, there's just like parts of the season with him that I think have been kind of fr- I think pretty reasonably frustrating. Like he, I think complains more than any player in the league. Doesn't really try in defense. Like the body language stuff with like some of the Tim Hardaway things. And like some of the the shot, like when guys miss shots, it's just like he just seems like completely checked out. And like he's averaging thirty two, he's averaging thirty two point nine and eight point one assists. Like he's having like an outrageous individual season. But it's like what it is not like accomplishing anything. It is not like, mm-hmm. but it feel it doesn't feel like this like amazing like Luca season in that regard. Like he was like a very trendy MVP pick, and I know he might still finish like top. He five. has been his whole career. <laughs> Every yeah, season is, he's the trendy MVP pick. Yeah, but it's like if he plays like this, like there's parts of this where he's just like never going to crack that upper echelon, and especially when his team just is kind of blah. And it's like, yeah. like they, like what do they have going forward aside from him? And like it's like Josh Green and J- Jaden Hardy and him, and it's like everything else. You're just like I don't know if like we're gonna have this guy in six months or if this guy's like good enough to compete with Luca. Like just this, they just feel like and like even a, if they got a different head coach, like what head coach is like, like how what is like the path to getting like the most out of Luca? Like, I don't even understand how to answer that question. I, well, that's point. one of the that's things is like, I don't even think it is, though. I think that you just need a coach who's going to come in and say, hey, brother, the way that you're playing basketball, not going to win. There's versions like of you t- how you have played basketball that will win. And you can do that. You've done it. Let's do that again. Like, it's 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 right there. Like, you, that. this is the rant that I went on with when we were talking about him a couple weeks ago, is, like, you watch his Real Madrid tape when he was a prospect. You watch how he played even early on in his career, when especially his rookie season when he was not really ball-dominant at all. He was kind of, you know, not fighting for minutes, but getting his, his feet wet, getting his place in, in, in the team and in the game. It was, you know off-ball screens, it was dribble handoffs, it was let me get downhill, let me find the lob, the, the roll man on a lob, let me find shooters, etc. Now it's just like let me back somebody down at the elbow or you know in the, the mid post and I'll either get a free throw, I'll make a fall away jumper or you know I'll kick it out one pass away for for a three and and that's a a, it you can cheat offense in the nba these days if you have enough shooting around you and the refs are on you know willing to call those fouls which they are but it's not gonna it's not gonna win a championship 
that nope. that level of of how much that stuff has has just overwhelmed their offense. So I feel like there's a version where I don't even want to say like an old school coach, but somebody who's going to come get his respect, get him on the same page and say here's a system that can work for us, right? And here, you know, I think re-signing Kyrie is really their only option. Um, they have to just hope that happens. I don't think that they... What What about Christian Wood? Is there any point in trying to bring him back? I mean, maybe I... I mean, like, yeah, from like a talent retention perspective, but like, is he... Yeah. Like, do you feel like great about him as like a piece based on this year? I, I don't think I would. No. I wouldn't feel like you have like a locked in like really core piece of your Luca future, Luca centric future with him. No, you know he doesn't play defense. No. Um, and like you, I was like I the, was throwing that to you, but I already had my opinion. You you yeah. weren't going to sway me. I would not resign no. Christian Wood. I I think I would just I would move on. And then so really, you're looking at what do you what can you get back for Tim Hardaway Jr., Maxi Kleba, Davis Bertans. Berton's really just is is money, right? It's not like he's valued. Yeah. Um, and, and then you can trade pick, they don't you have can trade picks now, and blah, blah, blah. they don't have their first round this year, but they'll have them from twenty four to twenty eight. So, like you said, on draft night they can event they can officially like start to trade their picks again. So you could you have one more swing from a trade standpoint, and if you can get something fairly solid, maybe you try to look for a, a sign and trade for Wood. I don't know if you'll get it. Um, you could go into next year with Kleba. Well, I guess I put Kleba in the trade in the trade possibilities. Whatever, let's say just it's Kyrie, Luca, Josh Green, Jaden Hardy, so, probably Javale McKee, right? And then something you're getting back for the in another big trade. Let's say it's uh, you know somebody a, a, around the caliber of like Chris Middleton. I, maybe it's not that good, but like you know a a a solid but not star level player. I guess Middleton's a little better than that. That's like you can get your third piece and then you just are pretty barren with role players and then that's your team. But they're they've they've fast forwarded this with the Kyrie trade to a point where they just kind of have to nail it pretty quick. And I don't know, but this this final week of the season for them is going to be pretty important to see where do they go and um, is how big of a failure is this season. Yeah, I it just feels it feels kind of like a, a step backward to some degree. <laughs> 